How's it going everybody, it's Sean here and I am back today to give you a review of the Kith and New Balance 1906R in this black and green colorway. So this is the latest collaboration between Kith and New Balance, which consisted of two colorways of the New Balance 1906R silhouette. So this is a silhouette that the brand has really been pushing hard, especially over the last few months. So that's why this Kith collaboration was pretty highly anticipated. And fortunately for me, I was given early access, so it was an easy cop for me, but it seems like on the actual release date, they sold out pretty much instantly. So both pairs retailed for a price of 170 US dollars or 225 here in Canada. The official colorway for this pair is black and green, and the style code is M1906RKS. So when the initial product images leaked online, the star of the show was definitely the white and blue pair, which I reviewed on my channel not too long ago. But interestingly enough, once people started getting their pairs in hand, it seems like a lot of people actually prefer this black and green pair over the white and blue. So this pair obviously is very, very unique. And the color combination is not one that you really see every day. So let's jump right into the details and I'll give you guys a closer look. So on the toe box, you can see that the majority of the upper this is actually constructed out of a very dark green colored mesh. In pictures, it just looks black, but once you see these in person, you'll then be able to see the green colored tones. Right above this holding the laces, we have this synthetic gold colored tumbled leather with a New Balance logo in the middle in a mix of black and red. And then overlaid on both sides of the toe box, we have these synthetic leather overlays, which are done in black with these metallic gold touches. And then surrounding the front toe cap, we have this heavily textured synthetic gold colored layer, which has a little bit of a snake skin sort of feel to the touch. For the middle two eyelets, you'll see these are comprised of these two woven strips in a mix of black and red. So not only do these hold the laces, but they loop through the New Balance N logo. And this is what New Balance calls their N lock technology. So basically it extends towards the base of the sneaker. So when you tighten up the laces, it's theoretically supposed to give you additional support and lockdown around the midfoot area. Underneath this, we have more of that dark green colored mesh, and we have more of these synthetic black leather overlays, which cover the mid panel on both sides of the sneaker. On the lateral side only though, we have 1906R branding towards the heel, and then surrounding the bottom of the heel, we have this large and shiny black colored TPU heel cup, which gives you additional structure and support for the back end of the sneaker. In the middle of the heel, we have NB branding in red, and then on the very top, we have these three horizontal strips of gold colored reflective 3M. As far as the laces go, so this being a collaboration, it's really no surprise they gave us three different lace options. The standard lace that they come with is a flat style lace in black, but they also come with a green colored lace along with another black lace, but this one having hits of red within it. Underneath this, the tongue is covered in that same mesh that we saw covering the body of the sneaker. However, on the top of the tongue, we have this synthetic gold leather strip, and here's where you'll find both New Balance and Kith Cold Branding. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe, this is covered in a green colored liner and just like the white and blue pair that I reviewed earlier, the liner here almost looks like it has a bit of a quilted finish to it, which I thought worked really well with the overall colorway of this shoe. And then same thing with the insoles, these are colored in this dark green color on the very top. This is a pretty well padded ortholite foam insole and then stamped onto the heel we have both Kith and New Balance Cold Branding. So the upper of the 1906R, this sits atop this foam midsole, which is primarily constructed out of New Balance's Activa Light technology. So this is a very lightweight foam, and this entire midsole is blacked out. But before I forget, there also is New Balance's Absorb SBS technology, along with their Energy technology. This is visible on the lateral heel with these gel-like pillars, and this helps with impact protection and shock absorption. Finally, turning this pair over to the bottom, the outsole here is similar to the midsole, so this is entirely blacked out with this diamond shaped pattern on the forefoot, along with these grooves to give you added flexibility. And then in the middle of the outsole, underneath the rubber, we have this gold TPU shank plate, which is what New Balance calls their stability web technology, and this is there to help with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this pair. And in terms of sizing, these fit like most other 1906Rs, so I'd recommend most people to stick true to size. My foot measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side, so I got these in a size 10 and they fit me really, really well. They're not too tight or too loose, they fit me really, really well. So if you have a narrow, normal, or slightly wide foot, true to size should work for you. But if you have a really, really wide foot, you'd probably be better off going up a half size. 
To give you guys a point of comparison, I also wear a size 10 or true to size in other silhouettes like the 2002R, 860 V2, the 1500, the 991, and the 991 V2. And in comparison, I go a half size down to a 9.5 in a lot of new balances made in USA models like the 992, 993, the 990 V3, V4, V5, and V6. Moving on to the comfort, so the 1906R uses the same tooling as an 860V2 or 2002R, so long story short, it's an extremely comfortable sneaker. What I like most about this silhouette is that it's extremely balanced, it's not overly soft and mushy, but at the same time there's a decent amount of plushness underfoot. So this is a model that I'd recommend if you're walking a ton of steps throughout the day for example, or if you just need a really reliable and comfortable everyday sort of sneaker, this is one that I would recommend for you guys. Finally, in terms of the quality and craftsmanship, so first off, the material quality was really nothing special. Just like the white and blue pair, the materials on the shoe are all synthetic, so we have synthetic leathers, meshes, and TPUs. So if you're going into this expecting it's going to be a very premium feeling sneaker because it's a Kith collaboration, you might be a little disappointed. But from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, this pair was pretty solid. The stitch job was good, there weren't any visible glue stains, and the paint job was solid as well. The only minor issue I had was this wrap around the toe box, this gold layer. It was a little bigger or taller on one foot versus the other. It's just one of those things where once you notice it, you can't unsee it. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not really that big of a deal. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet for you, I'll lace them up and I'll show you guys how these look. Like I said in the beginning, this color combination is just very, very unique. It has a very sophisticated, very mature vibe to it. And the mixture of the green and the reds kind of reminds me a bit of Gucci, but in a way that's not as over the top and as loud as Gucci does. So I can totally understand why people prefer this one over the white and blue. This one definitely feels a bit more unique. It feels more special. But when it comes down to a wearability standpoint, for sure the white and blue pair definitely has my vote. I can see that pair being worn a lot more often. It's just a lot easier to pair with your outfits. Whereas this one, it's a bit trickier to wear because the colors are so unique. And in general, I'm just a bigger fan of lighter or white based sneakers compared to really dark tones like this one. But that's not to take anything away from this pair. I think the color combination, while it's not one that I would have expected, it actually ends up working. So kudos to Kith for giving one that's a bit safer and one that's a bit more out of left field, giving us the best of both worlds. So drop a comment down below to let me know what do you guys think about this black and green colorway of the New Balance and Kith 1906R. Between this one and the white and blue, which of the two colorways do you prefer? And for anyone watching, did you manage to grab a pair of these? Did you take an L or it just wasn't your thing and you pass on them all together? As usual, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on X or Twitter at sean.go spelled out, and visit my website as well at seango.ca. So thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.